Okay, so we're going to stay with federal politics. Meanwhile, NDP leader Thomas Mulcair poised to announce a significant plank in his platform for 2015 tomorrow. And that's a plan to create a national affordable child care program. This comes on the heels of a party ad showing what could be a softer side of the leader. So is Mulcair in the market for an image makeover? And should he be? Let's turn back to strategist Michael Diamond. He joins us now again. And so let's talk about this plan that, again, is going to be unveiled tomorrow. We'll have more coverage on that. So it's a plan to create a national universal child care program. So much of what we see uh, maybe in Quebec rolled out across the country and I'm sure that it is enticing parents, families, it certainly got my attention having a little one at home. Um, is it really going to make a difference for the NDP? Well, you know, at this point, they need to do something different. Uh, so this could something's be got to give. Th something's got to give. That said, this could be also a key uh, vulnerability for them because I think the Liberals are going to point out uh, with some merit that had Jack Layton and the NDP not brought down Paul Martin's government in 2005, causing the 2006 election, they would have implemented a program similar to the Quebec model. So I think that this could be opening them up to valid criticism as well. Okay, I want to I want to show our viewers an ad. This is the ad that I sort of just uh, pointed to. The NDP started circulating uh, this ad end of last week, mostly to its members, its supporters. Um, so for the most part, you see Jack Layton, even though obviously he's passed and, and, and Thomas Mulcair is the leader of the party. So let's watch a clip and then we'll discuss. We have here, standing shoulder to shoulder, the experienced leaders of today with decades of experience and the young Canadian leaders of tomorrow and of many years to come. Many Canadians voted for us for the very first time. And in this parliament, we're going to earn the trust that they have placed in us. It's going to be a tough fight. We've got to work hard. There's a lot to do. And what do you say? Are we up for it? We've started something special together. Now let's get the job done. All right, so what you didn't see there, you saw the ad, what you didn't see is Michael Diamond rolling his eyes. <laughs> So tell us why. You know, I mean, Olivia Chow, when she got into this uh, race for mayor, there was a lot of speculation. Would she try and ride the campaign on Jack Layton's coattails? And to her credit, she's avoided that. And had she done so, I think she would have been criticized. I think this ad tells us a lot about what the NDP's internal numbers and focus groups are telling them about their leader, because that's why they have to reach back to uh, their former leader, who has achieved saint-like saint status in this country. But I think this ad could very well backfire. I think, you know, it's almost rem reminiscent in some ways of weakened at Bernie's and I think could really be <laughs> problematic for them and open them up to a more valid criticism because they can't focus on their leader because he's just not likable enough. And that's the thing. So when we talk about rebranding and we'll talk about, let's say, the party itself, we'll talk about the leader. So let's start with the leader, Thomas Mulcair. Does he need to rebrand himself, you know, even with this, this plan that they're rolling up tomorrow, you know, aimed at parents, does he need to rebrand himself as, you know, Daddy Tom or Grandpa Tom in order to become more likable? You know, he needs to re actually just introduce himself to the Canadian people <laughs> because, you know, himself, he okay. hasn't had that opportunity yet. He hasn't led the party through a federal election. There's been a handful of by-elections and he's been irrelevant, even though he's been a fairly strong uh, performer in the House of Commons in question period. So he really needs to focus on his strengths, which has been, uh, you know, being the uh, really the leader of the opposition, holding the government to account much more than Justin Trudeau has been. So he should be focusing on that and not trying to invent himself as a kinder, gentler, nicer person. And what about the New Democratic Party? You know, I think, again, they need to uh, get, get a foothold on policies. I think they are right to, uh, in some ways, kick back to the Leighton era because he connected with voters, and they can do that through policy initiatives. They can talk about, you know, Jack Leighton's uh, legacy and, and the uh, message he wanted to leave with Canadians, but focusing so almost exclusively on him and that ad, I think, is a mistake. And lastly, just one more thing about this plan, which, again, we'll talk a little bit more about their platform that's going to be re revealed tomorrow, but um, obviously it's going to come at a cost. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, and again, so there's the criticism they'll take from both sides because the liberals will hit them on the, how, uh, how committed are they to this policy initiative, actually. And the government will hit them on, on the economic uh, cost of it and also that it would have to come at expense uh, at the uh, per uh, child subsidy that uh, families have been enjoying. Absolutely, because on, on the front, it, it is enticing, but, you know, you got to dig free. deep. <laughs> Nothing is. All right. Sunny's contributor and strategist Michael Diamond joining us again. Appreciate that.